Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, twins are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman Subscribe Right here, so you don't see my spider gut. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys statue review on the Marvel Gallery Venom statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Diamond Select Toys, check the link in the description below. And we get this nice window box right over here. Venom's looking cool so far. I like the text right there and then we get a little Spidey logo right there and then on this side you can see the window with the Venom text that says Marvel Gallery and then on the back you can see a product shot over here and then there's a read up right there. If you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now. Then we get another window over here and then a window at the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing. <laughs> Here's the Venom statue out of the packaging, and I am very impressed with this piece. I really like this a lot. I think this is a great choice to have the symbiote uh, covering Eddie Brock over here. It's a very cool transformation piece. I think it looks great. We get a really good looking base over here, and I do have gripes that I will point out, you know, but mostly I think this thing looks amazing. Let's get a closer look. So here's looking at the face of the statue, and I think this whole thing once again is very cool how we have this whole transformation of the symbiote coming over Eddie Brock over here that just looks spectacular man uh, I love the detail in the teeth right over here that looks really good the goop just covering all over looks awesome you can even see how some of the white parts are all goopy right over there that's cool you can have some gray shading over the white it's really cool. Now, I like how there's this milkiness to the eye right here. That is pretty awesome. I really dig that amount of detail on there. And then here's looking at the back of the head. You can see the blonde hair has a little bit of color variation in it, which is very cool. You can see the top of it kind of just clamping over, you know, kind of like an oyster over the top of his head. And then coming back to the front again, looking really cool with that main facial expression. I like how you could see color variation with the in the mouth of the Venom symbiote. Uh, for a comparison, I wanted to bring out the uh, Eddie Brock head sculpt from Hasbro. And while I don't think you know the proportion of this head works with the rest of the body on it, I do like the head sculpt a lot. And there's a detail that we're missing with this head sculpt right here where the paint should have been black for the eyebrows. He's supposed to have the dark, bushy black eyebrows, so that's uh, a little gripe of mine. It doesn't ruin the statue for me. I guess I could change that if I want. It should be an easy fix. I don't even need paint. I just do that like with a marker or something. But anyway, on the side right over here, once again, we get those really cool looking milky eyes. You know, there's like this translucent quality to them where you can see some of the black, I don't know, or is it just a little bit of paint? Yeah, it's just a little bit of paint in there, but it's a very cool look. Uh, I dig that quite a bit. I like how there's this bluish hue to the color too. You know, it's like black with like a very dark blue at the same time. You can see it right over here. He's sticking out. That looks really cool. Uh, the flesh tone, uh, it irks me a little bit. It's got too much of an orangey kind of weird tan tone going on to it. Or not a tanned like, you know, the color, but tan like he's, you know, tanning too long or something. But yeah, it does look a little bit orange to me. So I think they could have lightened up on that color a little bit. But I do like the muscle definition. It does look cool. I like how the symbiote goop is wrapping all the way around. That is awesome. There's this cool texture to it, kind of that reminds me of like a rhino hide or something like that. That's pretty neat, you can see that. The hands look really good. You can see the fingers look great on here. And I almost forgot to do a thorough inspection for our friend Juan Sanchez, and I am not seeing any sculpted nipples anywhere, my friend. Uh, I'm very sorry. Again, yeah, the torso looks nice, man. Really liking that a lot. Uh, this isn't really actually connected. This is like a minor gripe of mine, but uh, there's these ports right over here, and it's like the arm doesn't totally make it to uh, these ports that are supposed to go in here. It's definitely hard to pick up on camera, and that's how little of a big deal it is, but you can see the gap right over there so that's how that's irksome but still I really like the sculpted detail throughout on this thing I mean those legs and please forgive the lawnmower going on in the background it's a little annoying or it's a leaf blower anyway but yeah, I can see the Simba Goop right over there. You got the Venom butt cheeks. And speaking of Venom butt cheeks, I did pick up the 4K Blu-ray today. So I'm pretty stoked about watching that when I get home from work tonight. Pretty stoked about watching Venom. I really liked the movie quite a bit. So yeah, very happy. And you can see the Simba Goop, you know, kind of bleeding from the ground. I guess it's like it came from the ground and seeped up on top of him. And the base looks really good here. I'm really digging that quite a bit. Got all kinds of nice details right over here in the sculpt. 
The paint apps look great. Very realistic base. I'm digging that. And you have this little brick wall piece right here in the very back of it too. So yeah, very cool details throughout on this thing. I love it. Now to measure out the height of this figure, you can see that this Venom statue is standing just at about 10 and a half to 11 inches tall. Closer to 11 inches, I think. And then to compare this Marvel Gallery Venom statue to another Diamond Select Toys statue, we have the Premier Collection Psylocke. Looking gorgeous ever still. And then for a Venom comparison, we have the Venom statue next to the Marvel Legends Venom with the Eddie Brock head sculpt on there. And I think there's a Spider-Man Classics Venom from way back in the Toy Biz days where they had a figure of Venom transforming like this. I believe so. It was in Wave 1 or 2. But anyway, yeah, I don't have that figure. And then here's the Venom statue next to your average 6-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I gotta say thanks again, you guys, for watching my video with the leaf blower in the background and all. You guys probably couldn't hear it as much as I could. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I also appreciate it when you hit that like button. If you like the video, please leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to hit the notification bell to ensure that my videos pop up in your feed. I really like this statue a lot. This is very impressive. I I'm mostly sing its praises throughout the course of the video. I think it's a great looking piece. I guess my biggest gripe is the eyebrows and I think that's just a little detail. I guess we could have used, uh, you know, th th those little ports, you know, going into the arm. That could have been, you know, done better. But aside from that, I mean, that's not really bothering me too much. The gripes are very minor compared to how much I like it. So I'm giving this statue a sun rating of... I love it! And again, I'd like to know what you guys think, so please leave your comment down below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to follow me on the social media, you can catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.